a lot of women feel pressure to go in the workforce, have everything, and also be able to stay home, raise their kids, um, hope that their kids don't turn into serial killers because that's always a bad thing. So <laughs> this is one of those things that we're all trying to balance. Um, and I really share this with my partner, um, my husband Joe, who really helps support me and we support each other in raising our daughter. So when I say that it's hard for me, it's also hard for him to figure out how to do all of this stuff. So, okay, having it all, that's where we're gonna start. Having it all, the definition of what I understand it to be is a high power career, you're the breadwinner or at least contributing 50% to the household income, you're a parent of 2.5 kids, you got a picket fence, your pets don't shed, you know, but they always look perfect by the door waiting for you with like a newspaper in their mouth. Um, you've got a great home, no problems, your roof isn't caving in, you don't have any major things you need to pay on it, you have low to no debt, you can vacation in Europe whenever you want to, or at least pay the $80 pass to go to Disney World, which I really wish I could afford, but can't. So that's sort of what I feel like having it all means, where you can have this great job, you have this great successful family life, you still have time to do yoga and like go to Starbucks and have a frappuccino and like, you know, all of those things. I'm like drinking Starbucks, driving in my car with Sally crying and I'm like, okay, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> so that's kind of more like, whatever. So should be the definition of in your dreams is kind of the point. So things to consider about having it all. Um, that's really, it's a social construct. That's the point of it all, is <laughs> having it all is what someone has tried to sell us as being true. Um, if you really try to have it all, you'll be really tired. There's no way that you can balance everything in your life and get everything done and still be able to sleep at night. So you have to make choices. And that's something that we have to figure out for ourselves what that choice is gonna be. Don't let society tell you what's right for you. If I listen to my parents who are really supportive of me, my dad's a crazy artist, my mom <laughs> is a bluegrass singer, anyway, um, and all of my family are crazy artists. We're not all rocking the income, I will say, but we're all doing what we love. Um, if I listen to them, they really wanted me to go straight out of high school into a four-year institution. Right after I finished college, they wanted me to travel Europe because, you know, we're hippies, so that's cool. And then they wanted me to get a real job and, you know, figure out what I was going to do for the rest of my life. And I kind of did that, but not exactly. It was shocking to my family that I went to community college for two years right out of high school. Shocking. I know that sounds kind of weird, but there's like a building at Stanford named after my grandfather. So in my family, with all of my privilege and crazy, that's shocking that I wanted to go to community college. I just wanted to save money and I didn't know what I wanted to do yet, so I kind of took the slower route. Um, while I was there, I studied art history. I loved it. I went to UCLA and I got my degree in art history. Thought maybe I wanted to work in a museum. Still think that'd be cool. Really hard to get those jobs. So maybe all of this is leading up to that job eventually in my life. I don't know. So you have choices, right? Having it all. My mom fought for years about you know, equality. She wanted to get paid the same thing that men get paid. Still working on that one. Um, she <laughs> wanted to be able to have any kind of job out there. So she didn't want to have to be stuck with being a secretary, although that is kind of what she has done, and she's really good at that job. Now she takes care of my kid, so she's really good at that job too. I appreciate that. Um, you have to figure out what do you want. Having it all out of that big group of all, what is it that you want? You gotta figure out what those things are. So hopefully we'll work on some of that today. Um, and then what do you want right now? So what do you want in five years versus what do you wanna have accomplished in a year? These are the things. I kind of live my life kind of like, I run a small business, so I kind of run my life like a small business, which is weird, but one of those <coughs> things that I always think about are what is my one year goal that I want for the craft studio? How much money do we wanna make? What do we wanna accomplish? How do we wanna feel about the job that we've done at the end of the year? I have a three-year goal for the craft studio. I have all of these things figured out. Did I mention I didn't go to business school? I just figured this stuff out. <laughs> okay. And then I have a five-year goal too for what I want the craft studio to accomplish. I have that in my life as well. Unfortunately, in my life, I have you know like a partner and a mom who lives in my house. Yes. And I've got a kid and I've got a dog, two dogs, and I've got all this other stuff that kind of um, takes up some space. So I'm not can't really do everything that I want to do. I've got to like think about everybody else, which is such a bummer. Um, but it's actually really good because they support me in what I want to do. So that leads us to being realistic. What can you realistically achieve? It's great to say that I want to run SF MoMA and live in San Francisco in the marina and like walk to work every day. That would be awesome. 
that person who has that job is like 50 years old. She's been doing this for a long time. She has a lot, she has a huge career behind her. She started really young. She had a lot of doors open for her. She knew a lot of people. She probably went to school in New York. I mean, you know, there are things like that that, that I don't have. So um, what can I realistically achieve? Maybe I will do that someday, but I'm too young at this point to do that. So I have to set, set my small goals, and I have to be forgiving and adaptable. So that's something to really think about. You have to forgive yourself if you don't accomplish the things that you said that you were going to accomplish. You have to adapt your goals as you go along. If you're just steadfastly working towards one thing over and over and over again, and you don't actually get there, you will feel like shit. So let's not do that. We want to... We want to be forgiving. We want to be able to adapt things. My path out of UCLA was, I don't know what I want to do with my life, which is like your typical after college feeling. So um, you'll see a little bit more of that. Other <laughs> things to know about rethinking having it all. If you have it all, you won't really get a lot of sleep. Sleep is really important. I don't know if, what I can tell you about that, except that it's really important. And self-care. If you're running all the time trying to get everything done, you will not be taking care of your body, and that is something you have to be really appreciative of. Um, sleep will keep you safe, so build it into your life. And remember to eat, see your friends, and drink plenty of water.